I'm on the lot today and we're pouring the walls for the basement. I should start calling it a construction site and not a lot because clearly it's changing. It's pretty amazing to see the transformation. So what's happening today, Ed? Today we're gonna to be pouring the walls for the uh, basement. We're gonna be using a pump truck, line pump, instead of the crane pumps. Two of the things that we're paying attention to is where our water line comes in, where our sewer's gonna be coming through, the walls. All the rebar's been inspected and passed by the city, and we're ready to go. The pumper truck is here. It's time to pour some walls. made sense to add the basement to the front half of the house instead of a full basement or instead of no basement. We had almost a full story between the front and the back of the lot and it just made sense to, to add that square footage and actually it's cheap square footage. It'll be a TV room slash guest room and there'll be a small workshop in the back and that's probably where the green shorts studio will be. An efficient use of concrete is important here because that's actually that's the most expensive material we're using on this house we're doing three walls here it's in a daylight to one side out under the porch we'll have a kind of a courtyard there between the house and the garage that's going to come later there's a boy here Who's that boy? Come under right here, bud. You can see the concrete coming in over here. And look down this wall. So you can see it, see it flowing in there? we had 24 yards of concrete for the basement. That's eight yards in three trucks each. They'll take the forms off this tomorrow. Yes. Um, the concrete will be sturdy enough to do that, but then it's got to cure for about a week. Efficiently using concrete. That's one thing that makes a greenhouse green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.